<laughs> All right, so uh, I didn't think I was gonna make this video just because there's really not much that I could add to the conversation that other people haven't already. I mean, I'm not exactly a language major. I'm a programmer. My, my intelligence comes in the form of numbers and logical reasoning. There are people who have already put my exact opinions out there much more eloquently than I could ever hope to. But as 2017 goes on and as this topic gets brought up more and more, it just gets more and more infuriating. So I don't know, maybe this is just therapy for me or something. Let's cut to the chase. You've probably already read the title of this video. You know what it's gonna be about. So let me preface this all by saying, I like freedom of speech. It's pretty cool. I like me some of that tasty, tasty freedom of speech. Because of freedom of speech, I can say things like, hey guys, have you noticed that Donald Trump looks like a rotting orange with a banana peel toupee? Because of freedom of speech, I can say things like, hey guys, Ivanka Trump kind of looks like an alien. You guys notice that? But side note, to be fair, she kind of does. I'm getting sidetracked. The point is I can say those things without having to worry about the police breaking down my door and saying, hey, you're being a bad boy. But hey, if, if this video goes down sometime soon, maybe that's changed and maybe I'm in jail. But the reason I'm making this video is because freedom of speech only goes so far. Freedom of speech makes it so you can say most things without fear of legal repercussions. But you know what it doesn't protect you from? People thinking that you're an engorged cockhead. And more importantly, you know what else it doesn't protect you from? Companies thinking that you're an engorged cockhead. And that sounds obvious to someone like me, but the logic is apparently lost on a lot of people. For example, you can go up to your friend and say, hey, I'm a piece of shit who doesn't like black people. But you might not have a friend afterwards, is all I'm saying. Unless your friend is a piece of shit too, and then, then maybe it makes your friendship stronger, I don't know. And look, this video is kind of meant to be more of like a catch-all when it comes to freedom of speech, but I want to give a specific example. As of posting this, we had uh, Nazis running in the streets of America about two weeks ago, so that was a thing that happened. And people were surprised when companies fired them for being Nazis. No sympathy for them, but guys getting fired from pizza chains and supermarket jobs for attending a political rally is a little unnerving. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill Trump rally, dude. This, this was a few tiers up from that. It was something a million times worse. There were literal Nazi flags being flown. I don't think it's crazy for a company to say, hey, we don't want to be associated with Nazis, please. And I know for a fact there's gonna be some dude out there who's gonna be like, oh, the, the, the media framed it, like there were more Nazis than there were. There weren't actually that many Nazis. There were only a few Nazis. Uh, so there's really not that many. So it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as the media made it seem. Look, man, I get it. I get what you're saying. But uh, in my humble opinion, one Nazi is too many. Like, let's say for a second in some weird parallel universe where I actually wanted to attend this protest that they were Pro what the fuck were they protesting? Confederate statues. Say I wanted to attend this Confederate statue removal protest. L let's say that f for a second, for, for the sake of the story, that I liked Confederate statues, which I fucking don't. If I go to this rally and see, you know, even 10 or 15 people sporting swastikas and stuff just merged in with the whole group, I'm gonna be a little taken aback to say the least. That might be the point when I turn around and go home and, and say, you know, that protest just wasn't for me. M maybe I'll get the next one. Like imagine if you had a group of 10 friends, right? And then one person in that group was a literal Nazi. And then your friends are like, yeah, he's a Nazi. It, it's cool. He doesn't represent all of us. It's just, he's a little weird, but we don't want to kick him out of the friend group or anything. It's just, he kind of sucks, but you know, we deal with it. I feel like that might be the point where you might need to consider finding a new friend group. Like, I don't know, man, that just, that just seems like common sense to me. The point is, freedom of speech isn't a catch-all. It's not some magical phrase you can utter to just get rid of all consequences for your actions. Companies firing them means that they are fiscally suppressing freedom of speech. Really, what I think this is ultimately is that you're virtue signaling. Like, yeah, man, you got me. I am virtue signaling the fuck out of this. If it's honestly considered virtuous to say that Nazis are bad, consider me the most virtuous motherfucker you've ever met. Like, how is that a virtue? That seems so fucking obvious. Uh, but what do I know? I'm just a liberal cuck who voted for Hillary because I didn't want a saggy rotting tangerine for president. Captain America, who's supposed to be a goddamn symbol for a fucking America, he hates Nazis. How is that partisan? I'm pretty sure every American should hate Nazis. But ultimately, this isn't just about people who, who wave fucking swastikas and shit. If you say racist fucking shit, you should expect it to bite you in the ass. But hey, if this video upsets you, freedom of speech, dude.